social media is about unbelievable myths and bizarre trends and if i tell you something about periods i think a lot of you watching this video would say are yaar ye kya bata rahi hai or might feel shy about it or i can even say that this was considered to be a taboo until date a lot of females do not enter kitchen do not enter temple ya mandir during this time of their menstrual cycle still this word is trending all over why is it trending it is trending because people have started using this periods blood as face mask what well i'm not kidding this is true so let's go into it hi everyone i'm dr sanika and welcome back to dr duo and the first episode of dr pain season 2 every night i dream the same dream nightmare begins Well you heard this right so everywhere you will see these influencers trying on this period blood as face mask for brighter skin clearing away the acne or other hyperpigmentation or a healthy and a glowing skin but do you think that this is worth it or this is the end of the entire skin care now what is period blood period blood or menstrual blood is the bleeding cyclical bleeding which every women during the reproductive phase undergoes now usually a menstrual cycle is of 28 days there's a range about it so now in these 28 days starting 5 days is the time of menstruation or the bleeding phase now usually progesterone is responsible for the maintenance of the inner lining of uterus which is also called as endometrium so during the first 5 days progesterone decreases thus causing the breakage of this endometrium and we get that bleeding now this blood is not just purely blood it is a combination of blood the lining of uterus and also mucus is it safe to apply this blood on your face well completely no now this blood is not like a pure blood it has dead cells it has dead lining of the uterus that is endometrium now what actually happens is during the pregnancy this endometrium thickens so that the uterus can undergo the changes and that placenta and the fetus can develop inside it but when the sperm and the ovum do not meet then that is the time when this endometrium sheds due to all the hormonal process so this comes with the blood which is complete no to be applied on the face though the menstrual blood is enriched with nutrients like zinc magnesium or copper which are found in a lot of trendy or viral skin care products these days but still you cannot forget that this blood is contaminated with all these dead cells in fact the bacteria and the fungus present in this blood can also aggravate the pimples well completely opposite to what you are desiring for why is this trend getting too popular actually if you have seen vampire facials being used by a lot of celebrities and even we dermatologists are doing it very much on the faces because we are there using a prp so now people are just confusing it with any kind of blood so prp is platelet rich plasma so what we do is just extract some amount of blood from the arm or anywhere and then that is centrifuge and we then take out the specific portion of it which has the most platelets present and this platelets have a lot of growth factors in and then we do a lot of procedures on the face and then even inject that prp on the face for rejuvenation well this is completely different to what period blood is well from
from my side this trend is a complete no and i would never advise anyone to go through it if you're looking for a brighter skin or a clear healthy glowing rejuvenated skin there are a lot of skin care available in the market which are safer and not contaminated or may not even aggravate such kind of problems moreover they're scientifically backed with some research behind that products so if you're looking for something like that do not forget to consult a dermatologist and also if you try on or if you want to hop on such trends first do take an advice of a dermatologist because in such scenario it is better not to try rather than cry later on so yeah this is it from my side i really hope that you like this season 2 of doctor strange other myths or trends if you want to hop on or if you have seen a lot going on social media do comment down below and i'll be debunking those trends or myths and then let's see each other next time on doctor strange episode 2 bye